Hi, I'd like to talk to you today about how to do watercolor journaling. It's a super fun hobby that we have started and enjoy so much. This is an example. This is my journal. This is Louisa's and this is my husband Rick's. So to begin your watercolor journal, you'll need a journal. This is my favorite. This is a um, journal that has watercolor quality paper, 140 pound paper. And it has this little removable cover, but the cover itself is um, a very stiff paper cover and then the paper quality is beautiful. It's a very thick page that of paper that doesn't crumple when you put water on it, a watercolor wash. It's very beautiful and stiff and makes a lovely journal entry. Page of mine. So, um, your project, you will just need your watercolor journal. You'll need a ultra fine permanent marker. You can tell if the marker you have is permanent by just writing a little bit. Let me make sure this is mine. Um, just draw a line on your paper and let it dry for a minute. And then lick your finger and rub it along that. And if it does not smear, you know you're safe for using watercolors. You also need a set of paints. And this is my absolutely favorite set of paints. This is what I call watercolors to go. It's so small and compact and it has a, um, an, a mixing palette right here. And it also has on the underside, it has a little ring peg that you can put your, your thumb in and easily hold your watercolors. But the best feature of this besides the brilliant paints is this water brush. Okay. So the thing I like so much about this water brush is it has water, a water reservoir right in the handle. And so when you paint, you actually um, control the pressure on the handle and control the amount of water that actually comes out of the tip of the brush. So you do not have any need for um, a cup of water when you paint. Isn't that cool? So to start your journal, you just write the date. Today's date. a simple object to draw. And sketch it out with your fine tip marker. You don't have to be a great artist. Just, just have fun with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for your enjoyment anyway. Sure. Now use your water brush and you can mix colors and just add a little color to, to your um, simple drawing. It's super fun and creative. Louisa is a better artist than I am so she's making this look super good. Mine are more uh, simple. But however you can do it, enjoy it, and I'm really making it's this looking look bad. good. I like it. Even something as simple as a leaf can make a, an object that brings a memory to your journal. So Louise has drawn her illustration and now she's going to go in and just start journaling, write some sentences about her day and this object, what made her, um, what made it catch her eye. And once this is dry, it dries very quickly, she can write right on top of the color she's putting in for a very beautiful journal entry. Now I don't expect mine to be this artistic. She's very artistic. Mine are kind of more plain, but it's still lots of fun. Here are uh -huh. a few of my favorite things. Mm -hmm.
Here are a few examples of drawings that Louisa and I have done in our journals. You can see mine are pretty simple. Louisa draws people much better than I do. And um, Louisa uses a lot of bright colors. Those watercolors to go have the most vivid colors in them, as you can see here. I hope you have fun with your watercolor journal.